Every death is tragic, but believe me, we are entering, we're already in the largest recession for 300 years. In fact, it's not just one recession. The Bank of England have said the, the economy will shrink by 14%. That's the equivalent of two recessions. It's a depression. And I wouldn't be surprised if we have two million more unemployed people within a year. Imagine the agony of two million more unemployed people. How many deaths might flow from that? How many deaths are flowing from the fact that we've got half as many A&E appointments at the moment? Cancer patients not being seen, people with heart disease not being seen. And the collateral damage of this uh, campaign of fear and lockdown has to be taken into account. Very soon, I believe, lockdown will be causing more deaths than the virus. There is one other thing I'd like to say, which I'm afraid to say is a characteristic of this programme. So there are five of us on the programme, and I would say four out of the five of us are in the public sector. I'm the only one in the private sector. Actually, in terms of the shape of the economy, 85% of the people working in the economy are in the private sector. And no one here today is going to lose their job because of COVID. But believe me, there's a real risk that millions of people in the private sector are going to see their careers demolished. And I think that really matters. And people say, oh, economics over lives. Unemployment can kill people. And I think it needs to be taken into account. And also, how are we going to pay the £170 billion a year that the NHS costs us if the economy's in the toilet?